Hello Internet, my name is Aqua and you're watching the Aqua Vlog. Now you may be wondering why you're watching Rocket League instead of my face, my beautiful face. That is because I'm having uh, hardware issues with my camera and actually all my USB devices because apparently my power supply that I got like a week ago, half a week ago, something like that, is too small. The one to replace my other one that was way, way too small. So whenever I try to play a game, it, uh, it just powers down all the USB things. And that's actually been happening even when I just tried to record just the vlog or anything. So I don't know if it's like software related with all my drivers or if it's actually the power supply, which is what I think it is based on all my testing so far. But I can't use my webcam for a while and I'm just gonna have to do videos without it for a little bit. So if you like it, let me know, but it will be back. Hopefully moderately soon. I'm not exa exactly sure when I'm going to be able to do it, but I have some things to talk about. So, I'm uh, I'm a little bit short on time, for just in general, really, for just doing videos, and that's kind of making it hard to, like, you know, get videos out. So, what I've thought about doing is replacing some of the days of videos that I would normally like record and edit just like normal YouTube video stuff I would replace it with just live stream VODs so I do a live stream the night before upload the VOD and have that be the video for that day and I, I kind of think I'm gonna start doing that I'm gonna try it at least and you guys can kind of tell me if you like that or not but I don't really know how else I'd be able to get a video out every day if I didn't do that because I just don't have enough time to be able to record something and then edit it and get it uploaded because I'm just crazy busy I might be able to do something I don't know I'm gonna try it though that's what I'm gonna do because I do like live streaming a lot and I can't I definitely don't have time to do both live streams and normal videos so I'm gonna give that a try and I'm actually started playing Metal Gear Solid 5 the Phantom Pain on stream And I'm gonna do that game full play like the full all the way through on stream So we'll see how that goes again. You guys can tell me if you like that or not But that's the plan for now In the future, I'm not really sure what other things I'm gonna live stream or whatever uh, Probably gonna do it kind of like other people do it where I split up the videos uh, per game I play and just do like multiple games per stream and just try to do like longer streams because I can't I can't play the same game for four hours in a row unless it's Rocket League just because trying to do that on a live stream is kind of it's kind of iffy but we'll, we'll see how that goes I don't know I'm not sure so that's kind of the gist of how that's going I am planning on getting a new power supply as soon as possible pretty much but you know that costs you know, like I already spent $120 on that one, and the one I'm planning on getting is like 200 something so I don't know when that's going to happen. Hopefully soon. I don't know. But we shall see. So that's... I just kind of wanted to get that stuff out of the way. It's kind of like channel-related stuff. Um, for other things, for what's been happening in my life, what's been keeping me so busy is I've been working as a stagehand for a company that my cousin works for. And that has been really awesome, but also very tiring. So, I have a couple stories from that, actually. The last show that I just did got done with, uh, we built the stage, like, there was this huge stage that we built. Well, huge to me, it wasn't huge to the people playing, apparently, I'll get to that in a second, but... It was the biggest stage I've ever seen, helped build it, helped take it down, and I helped out for stage stuff during the show. And what the show was, was Toto and Yes, and Toto did Africa, which is like the, I miss the rains down in Africa, like that thing, which I actually played there, and I didn't know who that was actually, I didn't know either of the bands who were playing at all beforehand, but I found out after that song, so I was like, wait a minute, they're playing this song, and they're acting like rock stars, because they were, they were acting like rock stars the whole thing, where it, you always he hear people being like, oh, this, the guitarist asked for like this weird stuff, and it's like, it was, some of that was happening a little bit, but it wasn't terrible or anything. But after they played that song, I was like, huh, is this like the people who made this song? And it totally was. And I was like, oh, okay, so this is like actually like people that I know songs from, and like it's weird that I'm here setting up the stage for them and listening to them play right now. It was kind of a weird experience, but it was really, really cool. But uh, during that, we were offloading trucks onto the stage and ramping some stuff down 
to blow the stage down to like dressing rooms and stuff like that. And while we were taking one of the wardrobe cases down, got her off the truck just fine. And I didn't know that the other dude that was taking it was helping me was actually like about to push it down the ramp because you do it with two people. And he thought I was behind the thing and I wasn't. So he just like started pushing the case down the ramp and it just like went. It just like fell. I didn't fall, but like rolled down and was like, phew, was like this whole thing. I was like, holy shit, what just happened? And so I see him like running down the ramp and he's like yelling. He's like, oh no, are you okay? Cause he thought I was down there. I thought he just like crushed me or something. And I come running down the ramp I'm like, dude, are you all right? And he was like, oh, thank God you're alive. And I'm just like, what just happened there? So that was a little bit of a, a silly debacle that happened. And it was, it was kind of terrifying at the time, but it's really funny actually. Another thing that happened was that uh, we were setting up some cables running from where the mixer was going to be to the stage, and uh, there's like these like cable channel things that you put the cables in, where it's like you open up these flaps and put the cables in and put them down, just so like people can walk over them. You're not tripping over cables constantly and stuff. But it was like this probably like 50 foot worth of channeling where the, they had set up their individual pieces that are like three feet each but there was like a bunch of them so it was quite a ways and so we're just like opening the flaps so we can get the cables going and i freaking find a field mouse in one of them just like running up and down the channels i don't know how he got in there even or anything but he was just like chilling in there and uh so i opened it thankfully i was wearing gloves so i just like i like kind of like picked him up and he was like trying to bite me like crazy and like just squirming all around i ended up dropping him from like i don't know half a foot not too far but i ended up dropping him because he like he tried to bite me and that obviously kind of like startled me. I was like, oh man, this thing's trying to bite me. And I was like, uh oh. So I dropped him back in the channel, picked him up again, put him in the little uh, field. Because we were out in a field, so it was like, there were field mouse mice around, but I wasn't expecting to see one, especially where we were trying to work. It was a little strange. And the last thing that really happened was the last day after we got the stage torn down, which took far less time than putting it up. It took eight hours to put it up, and the people were thinking it was going to take four, and, like, we had half the people that were supposed to be there. It was a freaking mess, and it was brutal, but, uh, it was fine. It turned out fine. But at the end, we took down the stage, we were about to leave, and this dude was working this, uh, forklift, and he's, like, walking up this hill with all this, like, underbrush and stuff like that, and he just pulls out a snake just out of the grass, and he's like, ah, oh, here you go! And so, I, uh, I got to hold the snake. He was docile for some reason. He was, like, totally fine. So, that's it for this vlog, I guess. Uh, talk to you guys next week, and hopefully I'll have my camera working soon. Until then, goodbye!